according to a report by Statistica in May 2024, over 2.9 billion users use Facebook monthly. Technology has turned the world into a global village. And with this has come with it huge benefits and blessings. I mean, that's how you are able to watch this show from all across the world where you are at right now. But with it also has come a huge risk. People have literally lost all their money. People have been killed because they met with someone they think they know online. In today's episode of Teens Republic here on Anado TV, I will be sharing with you three tips on staying digitally safe. My name is Guacham Chidiogo. This is Teens Republic. Please stay with us. Tip number one, use strong and unique passwords. Let me share a story with you. Three weeks ago, one of the girls I mentor sent me a message and the message reads, please, ma, can you send me 20,000 Naira? I'll pay you back by 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. I immediately knew something was wrong. It was not the usual tone she would send me a message. So I said, I replied and I said, I do not have any money. And immediately I got a response and the response also reads, can you not ask any of your friends to borrow you the money? I will pay you by 7 a.m. I immediately knew that her account has been hacked. So I called her and she confirmed that her account, her WhatsApp has been hacked. Use only strong and unique passwords. Now, do not use your date of birth as your password. I know it's easier that way. It's easier to remember that way. What you can do is to combine your password to tweak and to make, mix it up a little bit. You can use letters, uppercase, lowercase letters. You can use characters, but just mix it up. I heard from someone, a digital security expert, on a tip to create passwords, she said, you can use a password created from your local dialect. Imagine as an Igbo using a name of a place that no one can be able to easily guess. That is how you can combine your passwords. Also, enable two-factor authentication on your phone. What it will do for you is to create an extra layer of security on your phone. You can basically do that by going to your phone settings and just set it up. What will happen is, even if someone has access to your password, they cannot unlock your account because your phone will require that they send a message sent to your phone, which you would have. Tip number two, do not share personal information online. I know you want your friends to see how much fun you are having. Maybe you go out to eat or you are in a nice place and you just want to give updates. While this may sound fun to you, cyber stalkers, you could just be giving them information about you. What thing they have is a whole lot of patience. They can stalk you for three to six months to even a year. And within this period, what they will do is to basically gather information about you, what you like, places you visit, people you are connected with. And within this space of time, they will gather this information and use it to launch an attack on you. So please do not share your personal information online. This could include your home address, your school address, or just places you'd love to visit. Tip number three. Think before you post. Before you make any post online, please understand that the internet has a long term memory. It will remember whatever leaves your phone, it's difficult to control who sees it and what they do with it. Now, a young girl shared a story with me one time how she went to a police station because she did a dance recording with her friend. They intended to post it on TikTok. So they just did a recording in their home. And in that recording, they were not properly dressed. 
she intended to keep it on her phone, but something happened. Along the line, the phone got spoiled, so they took it to someone to repair the phone. They didn't know how this young man had access to this information. And with that information, he kept threatening them. He kept threatening them, trying to extort them. So they had to go to a police station to report. So please, think before you post anything online. Think about your audience. If my child in the future should see this, will I be proud? If a future employee should see this information about me, would it change anything? Think about your audience and think about long-term impact. People have posted something casually, maybe a comment. They think it's okay. They, they were just trying to catch crews online. And 10, 20 years, even 30 years later, this post, this comment is coming back to haunt them. Please remember that once it leaves your home, it's not coming back, even if you delete it one second after. Now, please be respectful to people online. Be respectful. Respect people's opinion. You will not agree with everybody and not everybody will agree with you. This will ensure that you are safe online. I hope you know that cyberbullying is a crime. Now, I know I promised to give you three tips, but I'm going to add a bonus tip for you. And that is block. Use the block button. If someone says something and someone is just on your space trying to say something you don't understand, almost all social media apps have the option to block the person. Once you block the person, they will immediately remove the person from around your space. They won't be able to see your post. They won't be able to like, share, or engage with your post. So please use your block button. And if something is not just right, make sure you speak to a trusted adult. With this, we come to the end of today's episode of Teens Republic here on Anedo TV. My name is Guacham Chidiogo. Please make sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. Let me know what you think about this episode. I'll be in the comments waiting. You have a voice, a unique voice. The world will hear your voice and feel your impact. I'll see you next time.